Like no other, this enormous state-of-the-art building dominates the entire city that surrounds it. The Singapore National Stadium is a truly epic structure. It's simply, undeniably unique. You have this beacon of light coming off the top of it. The multi-award winning sports arena is a dazzling symbol of Singapore's national pride. But more than that, it's architecture on a scale never previously achieved. It's the largest free-spanning dome in the world. How on earth do you build a dome this big? It's you know, a real marvel of structural engineering. When it opened in June 2014, the spectacular ceremony marked the end of a tortuous battle against the laws of nature. Physics, as well as the climate, and even the land the stadium's built on, presented a deluge of horrendous hurdles that came close to defeating designers. Obviously, it's a major project with huge challenges along the way to, to making it and realising it. The only way to find out how architects and engineers won the battle to turn the stadium into a successful reality is to take it apart and reveal the innovations hidden within it. The futuristic Singapore National Stadium is the centerpiece of a giant $1.3 billion sports hub. Dreamed up at the start of the millennium, the intention was to give the city-state a glossy new forward-looking image with a stadium that could host prestigious international events. Back in 2000, year 2000, uh, Singapore was really looking at uh, transforming itself. It is a, a red dot, little red dot in the context of neighbouring countries and this part of the world. We may be small, but the dreams and aspirations of Singapore is actually very bold, very big. Today, the stadium stands as a testament to those grand aspirations. The National Stadium is the largest free-spanning dome in the world spanning over a thousand feet. The range of engineering disciplines that we were controlling was beyond anything I've done before in my career. Designing a venue that delivers a great experience to tens of thousands of people all at once is quite different to any other engineering challenge. And for architects, a stadium can be the most creative project of all. This is incredibly hard to do. It requires a vast investment in technology to engineer that. And so you have to have the right kind of geological conditions and the right kind of infrastructure systems in place to uh, support the building, both during its construction and during its lifetime. All of these buildings are one-offs. You know, you're, you're not doing it as number seven in, in a series of ten. You know, these are each unique buildings with their own constraints and their own set of reasons for, for coming up with various aspects of the design. The problems to overcome can be anything from crowd transportation to the sourcing of building materials. For the Singapore National Stadium, there is one issue that will never go away. We are located in a tropical zone where it not just rain, it pours cats and dogs, right? In the 1970s, the first national stadium was built on the same site. But it was open air and completely useless against the elements. Right from the start, the brief for the new stadium insisted on a weatherproof roof. The architects could only come up with one solution. It was radical and would be a huge and very public gamble because it had never been attempted on this scale until now. There's a huge amount of pressure and you're always feeling that if it didn't work this time, then you didn't have an alternative. To build an actual structurally sound, solid roof over a stadium is a feat of engineering of, of some distinction. For starters, the area of a stadium roof is vast and that means weight, lots of it. Several stadium roofs have collapsed. 
have to think about the obstacles you face whenever you enclose a stadium of any kind, which is how do you hold the roof up? And in most conventional stadiums, that was done with columns. Columns are very effective for supporting flat roofs. But any column system inside a stadium has a fundamental disadvantage. In a large sporting arena, the starting point for the designer is the field of view of the spectator. They want to be able to see what's going on. You don't want a column interfering with the view of the fans sitting behind it of the action on the pitch. So how do you deal with that?